When and why you should avoid wearing pink? In this case study, I will find Rita Ora's true color type and her 12 best colors and reveal my method behind it. Here you can see colors that I don't recommend her wearing, like this pale blue, white and this bright pink. These are the colors that I would actually recommend her wearing. You can see three of her neutral colors that are beautifully aligned with her color type, all based in a very specific orange hue. And here on the right, you can see nine of her best colors laid out separately here. And she can go from warmer colors to cooler colors while avoiding her worst colors. I've developed a simple three-step color analysis method to find someone's true color type and their best colors, which is very different from the seasonal color analysis. And the first step is to look at the chroma. Is she bright, medium, or soft? And here I've added also her eye color so that you can see that her eyes are not brown, but actually hazel, which determines her chromatype, which is medium and not bright, which you might have thought. And she also puts herself into more of a medium type because she has dyed her hair blonde, which when you have brown hair originally, or dark brown hair and you dye them blonde, you automatically reduce the chroma of your color type. Her hazel eyes are more on the brighter side. So I will consider that during the development of all of her colors to keep them between medium and bright. Looking at the contrast, I have to determine how much contrast is there between her hair color and skin tone. And because she has blonde hair, at least in this photograph, her contrast is rather medium to low. Depth means how dark are her features and her darkest features are her eyes but also her natural hair color but they still remain in the medium depth category. The second step is to find her root skin color. Here I am looking at three possible root skin colors with red having the lowest energy level, yellow a medium energy level and blue the highest energy level. And I'm looking at the complementary colors, orange being the complementary color of blue, emerald is the complementary color of red and purple is the complementary color of yellow as you can see here in the color wheel. Now it's important to determine the color of the skin tone and I'm less looking at the face as women tend to wear foundation and makeup and all that good stuff that might not be even aligned with their natural skin tone. So I'm looking more at the neck area because mostly women avoid putting any kind of foundation or makeup on there. And if they do, then this is what I have to go with because they will ultimately wear this makeup and foundation with all the clothing. So I have to also make sure that based on the um, makeup that the colors are still matching. Now, this is based on the wishes of the client and not necessarily my own decision. I started the orange and I determined the skin tone, how much orange is really in the skin. Here it will come down to the photograph that the client sends in or wants me to do a very specific analysis on. In her case, there is a little bit of orange in her skin, but still not enough to consider her root skin color being blue. And I've added these two colors to really make sure sure whether the person is leaning towards cooler colors or warmer colors. Moving on to emerald, I can see a little bit of harmony here, but it is not the right frequency, meaning not the right you for her true color type. With blue, it is a little bit contradicting with her overall coloring, but especially with her skin tone, it is not creating the right harmony. It's not the right frequency for her. But when I move closer to purple, I can see with purple being the most beautiful combination and composition of the color and the color frequency that it provides, but also the energies that I can see with her overall coloring. This means that yellow is her root skin color, and this will determine very specific colors for her particular color palette. The third step is the triadic analysis, where I'm trying to find the right color set that will determine not only the single color frequencies for the overall coloring of the person, but also as a set. Means all three colors need to provide the right energy levels, not only the right frequencies. And this is a completely new and different concept, and you might not understand it, which is okay. You don't have to understand it after just watching one video or a couple of videos. You have to give yourself a little bit of time to give your eyes the opportunity to really train and eventually see energy levels if it's at all possible for you to see it. With the very first set, I can see that blue is not 
the right frequency, but it is also not vibrating on the same energy level as yellow and red. The second set shows that yellow is providing the right frequency and energy level to be in harmony with her, while pink is outside of this. As I've said in the beginning, pink is not one of her best colors. In this set, orange and purple are vibrating on the same energy level and are providing the right frequencies, meaning they are the right colors for her, while emerald green is already outside of the harmonic home of the frequencies that she would need to look radiant and be healthy. Now here with this set, I hope you can see it, that orange, indigo blue and this light green are all the right frequencies and are providing the right energy levels and are vibrating on the same energy level cross-checking with the very first set i can confirm that blue is not the right frequency it's not having the right energy level and it's not vibrating on the same energy level as yellow and red so my method allows me to be much more accurate and help rita go from this rather unflattering look and colors that are not aligned with her true color type to a much more refined and beautiful look where the colors are really aligned with her overall coloring and make her look beautiful radiant and healthy on the outside but also on the inside and if you want me to find your true color type and your best colors based on my method check out the description you can book your custom premium color palettes of 3 12 or 48 colors including single color cards that you can use for online and in-store shopping if you love this case study, leave a like and leave a comment and let me know who you want me to analyze next. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to refine and elevate your style and image this year. And I recommend watching this video next.